Glock9 has done it again, folks. He has issued another community-wide challenge. No, not another X by X block base build. This time around, the goal is to build an entirely wood base using no more blocks than it would take to construct a base using a whole stack of wood, aptly named the Wood Base Challenge. At the end of his video, he made a cheeky remark about how building a cheesy AFK base would feel like cheating, yet he stated he would like to see such builds. Well, Glock, as a fellow Jersey boy, I will gladly oblige. Cheating, check. Cheesy, check. AFK, check. Let's do this. Welcome everyone. This is Eerie Knight of the Suda Posse. Let's proceed into the cheese. Since we are limited to using wood, I decided to go for a simple but reliable design. The base is suspended in the middle of four stairs in which we'll be spending the entire night chilling. The reasoning for this many stairs is in case one or two paths are destroyed. We have some remaining stairs that will lead up to us. At least that is the theory anyway. Inevitably, blocks will get destroyed as zombies run rampantly crowding around each other and swinging their arms wildly, which is another reason for all the pathways. They provide structural stability so even if the bottom wall is destroyed, the base will hold. This will essentially provide a distraction for the zombies to beat on and destroy instead of focusing on the more vital structural supports. At the top of the stairs is a pathway constructed using wedge narrow blocks which provide a valid path for zombies, while also causing them to slide down while crossing. Some zombies will enter rage mode and hopefully their target of choice is the bottom wall as that is superfluous to the structural support. They will repeat this loop until they break a slide or the stairs leading to it and then subsequently rush to the next set of stairs. I'm hoping this will last the night as our path cannot take too many hits before becoming destroyed. In my experience they will occasionally swipe at the slide blocks but they won't consistently target them. I am banking on this fact that the few hits won't rack up to an insurmountable sum that leads to the collapse of my base. While I've talked long enough, time to turn this cheesy AFK base into some Swiss cheese. Enjoy! Yeah, you can see as they're falling down from the wedge and arrow blocks that they're beating on that central column down there. That's supposed to be used as a distraction for them to rage upon because those aren't actually holding anything up. They're just a sort of bait. Rage oh, bait. They're not holding? Yeah, they're not holding that central platform up that I'm standing on. So it's kind of a distraction for them while they uh, do their thing. Just kind of run around in a loop, rage and repeat. Doesn't take too many swings for them to destroy the blocks as they are wood. And it is insane nightmare. So they do destroy them pretty damn quick. Of this question, how about you? I'm very tired, but you know what? It's too reliable when just and you're, when you're forced to deal with just wood, you have to go with reliable, you know? Have you tried others? I mean, I could have, but the, the spirit of this challenge is not to, you know, test it over and over and over again until you find the right design. It's to kind of come up with a single design and then just do it, you know? So since I had like one shot, I decided to spend my one shot on something that I know has the best chance of working. It's a long horde when you're just sitting around, passing the time. Yeah, yours is definitely not like as exciting as Glock's. No, Glock's was definitely way more exciting and... I'm very impressed how he's alive. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty amazing him running I'll around. I'll run everybody, right? <laughs> him running around his destroyed base. <laughs> it's not destroyed base, it's destroyed Glock. It's pretty destroyed. <laughs> very destroyed, this is nice and last. Yeah, but you know what? This is, I think, going to last, but it's going to be a lot less exciting. Very boring. I don't even want to add it to the channel. That's why you guys say this video so late. <laughs> <laughs> because Taco Bear's procrastinating. This concept has been on in our, in our channel for like god how many years? Two years, I think. What concept? By Gennaro. Well, I mean, you just think about any block. How many how many blocks are used repeatedly in so many like builds and designs out there, you know? Something works, it works. And you know what? It works too damn well to ignore it in this sort of scenario. Look at that little hole. Oh. 
Yeah, they'll do like really random swings as they fall down. So it's inevitable given that the only wood blocks only have 500 hit points that they're going to destroy it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And you can, if you see, take a look at that column again, they, they've almost entirely taken out one row of it. So it's almost completely disconnected from the main tower. And once it is completely gone, it will hold up continuously. So if they completely destroy one side, say there are four sides, right? If yeah. they completely destroy one side, will the center still hold? I think it could withstand one being destroyed. Oh, yeah. No, I think it can because the two opposite of one can hold the center. Yeah. I think one can make it withstand, uh, but I think if two were destroyed, then it would probably collapse. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely carving their way through. Yeah. And you know what? They're eventually going to, I think, just completely break that set of stairs they keep using. But yeah. you know what? That's why there's another three so that they'll path up the other stairs. That's because they... they're spawning from that direction. Yeah, they spawn from that direction. And so they're just inclined to want to go that route. Yeah. After so... their route yeah, but I think that route has a limited lifespan. They are shredding it. Isn't I don't know why Glock goes this day 150 because at this point, oh, yep, see, disconnected. But this point, there are not a lot of cops. There's no, not even cop and burst. Yeah, there's definitely not a lot of that. Not um, even any, because they can totally fuck you up. They can. They certainly can. Wait until the end. How I build. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, there's no cop at all. If there is a cop, you're gonna be really gonna know it. They're gonna just puke you all the time. Yep, that is what will get you. Is that why Glock goes 150? He just know the magic now. Maybe, maybe mm -hmm. it is possible. Uh, depending on the, the, the game stage, you're gonna have a different probability of certain zombies spawning. So, <laughs> yeah, and you know, the cop spit's gonna shred through like the block hit, the wood oh, block hit points so, so fast. So easy. So easy. Yeah. I was shocked. I saw it will be fun to survive day 7,000, but I overestimate this red and arrow. Apparently, it's not as powerful as I thought. It, it's powerful, but no, within it's, reason. It's reliable. It's reliable. Yeah, so here, here's a stability view. So you can see like now that's completely disconnected, yet it's still holding up. Obviously the stability is a bit uh, on the, the bad side. It's not yellow or, or green, but it's not terrible and it's still holding and it will continue to do so unless they, again, you know, break probably at least two of those stair pathways like completely. Yeah which they don't seem inclined to do because once they kind of destroy the easy way up, uh -huh. then they're not going to continue beating on it and collapse it. They're just going to go to another stairway. So even if it's crippled, it's still holding, providing st structural stability. I think now they're kind of going elsewhere. They're not really interested in that path anymore because I think they kind of broke the stair blocks most likely. But they're going to another, they say they're going to the- Yeah, they're going to the other one. Like I said, you know, the, the other path's kind of broken. So they're just going the other way. Double check your game stage. Yeah, you gotta double check, prove it to the audience. Wow. <laughs> Yours versus Glocks are just like. <laughs> Different schools of thought. But you know what? He did say he wanted to see a cheesy AFK base, so. No, but then he said this is cheating. He said it was cheating, but he then followed that with he still wanted to see it. So here it is. <laughs> In all of its cheesy glory. Although <laughs> I think at this point it's now Swiss cheese with all the holes. <laughs> Oh, looks like it's morning. 
Time to make oh. our great escape. <laughs> so you think you're successful for this challenge? I believe so. We survived the entire night. We didn't have to move a muscle and the base stood up. It did not collapse into a giant heap. <laughs> this is so Swiss cheese. It is completely Swiss cheese. See, like they completely broke the path to that stairs. That's why they, they went to the other ones. Yeah. They so couldn't four, get up it anymore. Four is very... Yeah, I mean, you want at least, you would want at least three just for redundancy. Four is probably a bit overkill. I, I could have redesigned it, made it probably three staircases supporting it. But yeah, I, I wanted it to be very safe. Okay. Well, say bye, Glock. Bye, Glock. Make it harder next time. <laughs> All too easy, Glock 9. What's that, Taco Bear? You want to test the limits to try day 7,000 yourself? <laughs> Good luck. What a spectacular fail. Well, the limit is somewhere between game stage 168 and max, so there you go. Taco Bear was incredibly impressed by Glock 9 scrambling around after his base collapse and still surviving. Hopefully I can stay rooted the entire night and not impress my wife. So business as usual. I'd like to extend a special thank you to Glock 9 for issuing this community wide challenge. I look forward to whatever your diabolical brain can come up with next. I only ask that you make it even harder next time. And thanks to everyone watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed your helping of cheese. And a special thank you to our patrons whose support empowers us to create better content for the rest of you all. Till next time, survivors.